I'm going to go over three major huge contradictions in the post-trib rapture satanic heresy. Here's the first one. Number one, God punishing the righteous with the wicked. Genesis chapter 18 verse 24 to 25 proves that God will not punish the righteous with the wicked. But if Christians go into the time of Jacob's trouble, then God would be punishing the righteous with the wicked. So God would be contradicting himself. So which is it? Second contradiction. Jesus pouring out the seals on himself. Acts chapter 9 verses 1 to 5, Paul is on his way to persecute Christians, but Jesus stops him and says Paul was persecuting him. He says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? I'm paraphrasing, of course, but he's persecuting Jesus Christ. Paul never persecuted Jesus Christ, but he was persecuting the body of Christ, saved Christians, and it was affecting Jesus Christ. But in Revelation chapter 5 verse 9, Jesus Christ is the one pouring out the seals. So if Christians go into this time period, Jesus Christ will be pouring out the seals on himself. You see the contradiction there? And the third contradiction, saved by grace through faith or works. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9 proves we are not saved by works today. However, or today in the time of the Gentiles, I'll put it that way. But however, in James chapter 2 verse 24 to 26, Mark 13, 13, Matthew 24, 13, and Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 to 11, and many, many other scriptures prove that we are saved by faith plus works in the time of Jacob's trouble, or, or people are, I should say properly. If a Christian goes into the time of Jacob's trouble and doesn't do the works necessary to be saved, they will end up in hell, thus contradicting what Paul wrote under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. So which is it? Are we saved by faith or works in the time of Jacob's trouble? And they'll say, of course, well, we're saved by faith alone because of the satanic non-dispensationalists, but you have a genuine, genuine problem there. Are we saved by faith or works in the time of Jacob's trouble? We're clearly saved by faith plus works. So if a Christian goes into this time period, it would be contra contradicting what Paul wrote under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. So those are three major contradictions with the post-trip rapture of satanic heresy. And that's what it is. It's a very, very satanic heresy. It makes God into a liar, and it takes away your, your peace and joy you should have in the Holy Ghost. It is satanic. It is it was inspired by Satan. And they'll say, well, John Nelson Darby, 1830. I've, de I've debunked that in a past video. There's writings about the preacher of rapture before 1830. But the standard is, what does the scripture say? Not who came up with what first or what have, what have, what's the historic position of the church? The standard is, what does the Bible say? Not what's the historic position of the Christians, okay? So there you got it right there. You got right there. Three contradictions, major contradictions in the satanic post-trib rapture heresy. Thank you for watching. Don't be deceived by the post-trib rapture. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.